9-11, New York City, The Days After, is a book of historic record that includes the stories, poems, art, and photographs of all who were in the metropolitan area on that life-changing day. It is a healing experience to express one's deepest feelings of that time through art and writing. Inspiration is not the domain of only writers and artists. It exists in the notebooks and diaries, letters and postcards of ordinary people as well. The Tao says, by small actions, accomplishing great things. One word tells a thousand stories. One picture is worth a hundred glances. These personal essays allow the reader to feel many individual experiences. My first guest is Lauren Ellis, artist and founder of Art for Healing NYC. The 9-11 book project, mm -hmm. it's a huge undertaking. Yeah, I think it's a good time to do this book. Mm -hmm. It's about the human stories that were here on 9-11 and afterwards. So Lower Manhattan Cultural Council has been very supportive. This is the second grant we got from them. Last year we got a grant to teach workshops to children. Mm -hmm. And this year with um, the 9-11 book project, they're supporting our readings. Tell us how you got on board. I guess it's a challenge, quite a challenge to deal with this um, very sensitive topic, especially for me, maybe as a European. It is a big project, mm -hmm. and as my videographer says, um, working with a documentary, he uses the word her Herculean, you know, Herculean feet. effort. Herculean <laughs> effort. He there says. you yes, go. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> Out of the ashes did come good. I know that for each of us who lost a loved one, it took much courage to go on. I'm immensely proud of my husband, Rick Rescorla, and what he did on 9-11. Rick Rescorla helped save 2,700 people from the South Tower, but then lost his life. I feel he is a new hero in our new millennium. I am honored that Art for Healing New York City organization is dedicating this unique book to our firefighters and police officers and to my late husband who was my true love forever. We are donating the books to New York City public libraries and making copies available to libraries across the country. The proceeds raised from the book will help support healing workshops for children, the elderly, and other visual and performing arts related activities. Please visit our website to learn more about the 9-11 book and the opportunities we offer to the artists and the community. Art for Healing NYC's mission is to help visual and performing artists share the healing power of their art with the community. The Tao says, we cannot change the cycles of life to suit ourselves but we can learn to flow with them. We fear the great unknown, unaware that no matter how tightly we cling to the familiar, the only constant in life is change. Peace. We hope time passing will continue to help in the healing. In the empty sky In the empty sky Sky